Hi everybody, Gina here with Belly Beads, here today to bring you a tutorial on how to roll my 14 millimeter vase. When you purchase these on my website at bellybeads.com, you will find that there are multiple patterns, pretty colors. I'm going to show you how to roll them today, so let's get started. With this particular bead, you'll receive um, two strips per bead. And this is also my paper bead roller. This is stainless steel uh, pin. It's a 332nd and they're comfortable. And they come in very various colors too, which I love the paper bead rollers. This is Elmer's Clear Glue. And I also sell that on my website, three for a dollar fifty. When not in use, I always I, I highly encourage just keeping the nozzle covered with the tip that it comes with so it doesn't get clogged. So let's get started. Um you you're going to see that that is the widest end and how you know what the which the widest end is is if you flip the bottom you'll notice and then when you get the second strip to attach it you're going to get the widest end of the second strip and marry it with the first strip on the bottom and see how they just connect perfectly and that's how we're going to put it together all right, so what we're gonna do is, I thought this was really neat. See the little notches on the side there? This face came out really pretty. All right, so we're gonna condition the paper and that allows uh, you to roll it a little bit easier. Paper's pretty stiff at times. All right, so you're gonna look at this, find the slit in the paper bead roller pin. You're gonna place the widest end into the slot there and then begin rolling. I typically have my index finger behind the roller and then my thumb is guiding the strip so it stays straight. So I'm gonna show you two different versions of how to roll this. This one in particular, you wanna keep it centered and then we'll show you the difference between the second one. So just continue rolling it and that my thumb really does keep it nice and steady and make sure that the ends there on the side have those looks like little notches on the side of the paper. And just take your time, continue rolling. And once you get to the end, you flip it over and I kind of condition it more, soften it up. Um, and then I, I'm very generous with my glue. I love placing it all around the bead. It really does help it secure it and then create a barrier between that and the resin or however I glaze it. And there you go. So that's what your bead should look like. I'm gonna grab the second strip, condition it. I'm gonna find the widest end, which is the top there. And see how it curls? That's what you want your strip to look like. Place some glue on the edge and you're going to find the end of the first strip if you can see it, see that first, that's the end of the first strip. You want to line it up with the second strip. Keep it very straight. You wanna make sure that they are connected. And then hold it for just a moment so the glue can dry. And then you wanna go ahead and start rolling it and make sure that your index finger sits behind it or however you, typically roll your bead, but this is how I rolled it. Now, if, as you can see, it looks like a little, um, a little vase. <laughs> so this is another step, uh, another style that you can use. You flip it over, place some glue on there, and then run it through the entire bead. Now, there's a couple things, a couple options you can do with this bead, and I'll show you. Now, you don't want to pull off the bead, you want to um, never pull it off, you want to push it off. And I'm going to show you that you can actually manipulate the size by just pushing it in. And um, yeah, you don't wanna push it in that much, but just giving you an idea, you really can create a whole new bead by just playing around with it. But this is the uh, style that um, was created for this particular vase there should have been like two little notches on both ends. So it looks like a little pottery vase. And there you go.
And that's the way the first bead is. I'm going to roll the second one. I'm going to grab the, the first strip, condition it, place the widest end through the slot of the paper bead roller. And you're going to go ahead and just keep rolling. And now you see how I'm rolling this one. Hopefully the camera can get it. I don't know why it's going. It's a little blurry. There we go. You do not want to keep it centered. You want to grab the strip and you want to, you want to, while you're rolling it, keep it towards the right side of it. See, there's no little notch on that side comparable to the other one. You want to keep it kind of sliding it to the right. Let's place some glue on it. And you want to go ahead and run it through the entire bead. And there you go. So you're going to see there is a difference. Just the top is showing. It looks like it's poking out, not the bottom. We're going to grab the second strip and we're going to condition it, place some glue on it, and connect it with the first strip. Now we want to keep it towards the right side of that. See how the first one we were keeping it straight in the middle, but this is another way to create a whole new other bead. Look at it, isn't that pretty? That's another kind of little pottery vase, I call them. Place some glue, be very generous with it, and just place it all around your bead, and there you go, look at that. You can do a ton of things with this one. You wanna push it off, and I'm going to show you, look at that, I love it. That's the, this is the first bead and that's the second bead. So it depends on your style on which one you would like. But I tried to give you a little bit of a idea of a little flexibility with the, these strips. I thought that would be fun to make two different styles out of uh, these strips. So, whoops, sorry about that. I'm gonna see if I can try to give you a little bit more close up. Let me see, I'm gonna try to there we go. Hopefully you can see, whoops, they're a little slippery right now. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in my camera so you can take a look. Whoops, that's a little bit much. Hopefully the background is not too much for your eyes. There you go. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? Oh, I love them. You can make them as a focal point for a necklace. You can make it for a focal point for a bracelet, but they are adorable. You can even use them for ornaments. You can use them for earrings, um, ornaments for a tree. So, well, thank you very much, everyone.